Hello everyone, my name is Roya and today I'm going to do the Villain Squad book tag. I was tagged to do this by Melissa from the Bookish Babbler and I will leave her video in the description down below. I don't remember who the creator of this tag is but I will leave their original video down there below as well. Um, so basically, uh, yeah, let's just get into the tag. So the first question is create your own villain persona and your name and your special abilities and whatnot. So basically, I just think that um, since my last name, that is not legally my last name, but for all intents and purposes, like I use it on everything as my last name, um, and that is Hellbender. And I think that would just be my whole name if I were a villain um, of any kind. So then basically, um, I guess I would want to be like a sword fighter or something. But more realistically, I think I would just want to have like cats that attack people or something because I like cats um so it just makes sense like if I could control cats um in fact one cat is shaking my computer right now I don't know if you can tell question one the real question one is the leader pick a villain to lead the squad and I have to go with the red queen from the tearling series um because basically there are a lot of really bad people in the in as my answers to these questions and I know that she would have the ability to actually get everybody to do what she wants them to so it makes sense um then we have question two the killer smile pick a villain who is just extremely attractive for that I'm going to have to go with Allison from uh Phoenix and Ashes by Mercedes Lackey she is the like evil stepmother of the Cinderella character and she's basically just this really gorgeous chick pretty much who like does that she like marries people and kills them off question three is the loose cannon pick a villain who marches to the beat of their own drum i'm going to pick jack randall from the outlander series because he is a really entertaining villain and part of why like basically once he's not in the series anymore the series just gets way less good all of a sudden just way less good um so basically like he doesn't really even do like he does all this stuff that he's not even really supposed to um and everything like he's a lot more brutal than like I don't know than what he's supposed to be doing he's not just like um he, he's not just evil because he's on the other side he's evil because he like actually has his own agenda question four is the unhinged one pick a villain who is not playing with a full deck and for that I have to go with chain from the Noble Dead saga, he shows up in the second one, Thief of Lives, and he is basically this dude who has recently become a vampire. Um, so he's still very attached to his like human life and doesn't really know like what to do. He doesn't really know what side he's on. He's kind of an anti-hero. Um, I don't even really know. Like he he's just kind of weird and kind of frustrating because he can't like freaking decide what the hell he's supposed to do. Um, but yeah, he's a very interesting character. <laughs> Question five: The Redeemer. Pick a villain that's on a path of redemption and or would play both sides. And for that, I have to go with um, I don't remember this lady's name. Um, this is weird. I have two books by the same author like in a row. But anyway, I don't remember what this lady's name actually is because she only shows up in two books. Um, it's this one and I can't figure out what like page it is that she's on in this one. But also the previous book that I don't have, she's in the prologue. Um, and basically her name, I don't even remember what her name is, but she's this lady, this like witch lady. And I think her name is like either Saurice or Aurice or something like that. It's it's like a name that I've heard before, but not exactly. But anyway, she actually like in the prologue of the second book, um, which is her first appearance, like she's actually doing something that's really, really evil. Like she's clearly a bad guy. But in this one, while she's still clearly on the bad like side and everything, like she actually does stuff to help the main characters as well. So even though we're clearly supposed to see her as being very evil, she's not, maybe? Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I really hope we get more of her in the, like, fifth book whenever the heck that comes out. Number six, the evil one. Pick a villain that's just bad to the bone. There's nothing good about them. And for that, I have to go with Lachlan from the, um... Uh, the Demon Child trilogy. I always forget the name of this trilogy every time I hold it up. But anyway, he is not even remotely the worst person in this. Like, there are totally villains in the series who are worse than him. But he is just so evil and messed up in a lot of ways. And he's just so bent on, like, revenge that he, he has such a one-track mind. And then, like, um, so he does all this stuff that he's not supposed to do. 
kind of like Jack Randall from Outlander, who I mentioned previously, but basically he also, like, kills people just for fun. Like, he'll go to whorehouses and hire a whore just to, like, beat the shit out of her and kill her. Like, he doesn't even do what you're supposed to do at a whorehouse at all. Um, so basically he's just, like, such an asshole to begin with, but then the fact that he's also evil, it's like, dude, really? Like, I don't even freaking know. And question seven is, the once was good, pick a villain who did not originally start out that way. And for that, I have to pick Eli from Vicious, because this is such an interesting story. Like, that's, um, Vicious by V.E. Schwab is really the only V.E. Schwab book that I have really, really liked, like, a lot. Um, and basically that's because you don't really know who's really good and who's really bad and all this stuff like you do but you don't and basically it's also great because it's about a friendship breakup and this guy becoming such a douche and being like all evil all of a sudden is what breaks up the friendship when they used to be like best friends and I just really like that about that story so anyway um I hope you guys enjoyed this video um please let me know down in the comments um, I guess who your favorite villain is, and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye!